morning we had to shoot down a drone. Uh, the drone came down. You know how it was, how it came down. Technology that's actually quite amazing. Uh, but uh, we took down one of their drones. Instead of saying, yeah, that happened, they lied. They say it didn't happen. So uh, we have, uh, there's a lot of proof. It's called, uh, take a look at it on the open floor. Just go down there, take your stupid gear and go down there in the open. What are you would do that, you know? But uh, we took down a drone. Uh, I think very importantly, uh, I read a report today about uh, CIA. That's totally a false story. That's another lie. They put out propaganda. They put out lies. I don't think Pakistan would ever do a thing like that, right? <laughs> Pakistan never lies. But Iran does, unfortunately. So uh, let's see what happens with Iran. We are ready for the absolute worst, and we're ready for sense, too. So we are very geared up, and uh, if they, they, are, they are really the number one state of terror in the world. Now, I have to say, they pulled back because they, their money is running very low. The deal that President Obama made was a disaster because it was such a short term. It didn't cover ballistic missiles. And they couldn't see the important sites. Under this, you couldn't inspect the important sites. There were many things wrong. And, of course, they gave $150 billion plus $1.8 billion in green. Green, beautiful cash. That's called many plan loads of cash. I think Pakistan were like to have some of that cash. But they gave $1.8 billion in cash, which is unthinkable. And instead of being respectful and thankful, which, frankly, they should have been to the United States and to President Obama for making that ridiculous deal, instead of being respectful, uh, they put their finger up in the air and this finger, the thumb. They put their finger up in the air and they disrespected the United States. They shouldn't have done that. That was a big mistake. One of the best things they've done is terminate that ridiculous deal. If they want to make a deal, it's, it's frankly, it's getting a deal with Iran because they behave very badly. They're saying bad things. And I'll tell you, it could go either way. Very easily. Very easily. And I'm okay either way it goes. Mr. So President, you is the, the flesh point Pakistan. between Pakistan. India and Pakistan. 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 Are you I'm from, from Pakistan? Yeah, I'm from Pakistan. I want to cover up Pakistan. Yeah. I, like him. I like him much better than I am. I'm just a question. Uh, uh, magnitude News, Kuram uh, Shadab. Uh, question is, uh, what do you think Pakistan could not do in 18 years? And uh, you have so much hope now that you, you could deliver. What are those things that Pakistan You mean what now? they didn't do to they didn't they didn't do in 18 years? They well, I don't think Pakistan, I don't, I don't think Pakistan um, respected the United States. I don't think Pakistan respected its presidents. And I think Pakistan could have done a lot. I think Pakistan could do a tremendous amount against, uh, with respect to Afghanistan. They didn't do it, and I don't blame them because they were dealing with the wrong president. Who knows? But I think Pakistan could have done. They're helping us a lot now. I think they could have helped us a lot in the past. But it doesn't matter. We have a new leader. He's going to be a great leader in Pakistan. And uh, we have a new leader here, sort of new, two and a half years now, getting to be three years. Can you believe it? You're going to find time flies. But no, I think Pakistan could have done a lot, but they chose not to. That's because they did not respect U.S. leadership. Well, I'll let you know that uh, very quickly. I'll yes. let you know. I mean, I'm going to know soon. It's not going to be like a long-term thing. I, I figured things out very quickly. So uh, the question was, it's probably the best question you've asked in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I was asking, Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. <laughs> Mr. President. 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 I think Pakistan is going to do a lot. I really do. I think Pakistan is going to make a big difference. I think Pakistan will save millions of lives in Afghanistan because I really believe they can. امریکی صدر ڈانلڈ ٹرمپ اور وزیراعظم عمران خان کی یہ انتہائی اہم پریس کانفرنس پوری دنیا میں دیکھی جا رہی ہے بین الاقوامی تنازات کے حل کے لیے ان کا اتفاق اور یہ جاری ہے We thought they're paying us billions and billions of dollars of tariffs, which is fine with me. Uh, but uh, 
I know that they're working. I know that's a very important situation for President Xi. And, um, you know, you could say what you said, but you could also say that he has allowed that to go on for a long time. And, and you know, it's been, it's been relatively, I think it's been relatively nonviolent. وزیر اعظم عمران خان اور امریکی صدر ڈونلڈ ٹرمپ میڈیا نمائندگان سے بات کر رہے ہیں یہاں جو اہم ترین خبر وہ یہی ہے کہ امریکی صدر ڈونلڈ ٹرمپ نے مسئلہ کشمیر کے حل میں سالسی کی پیشکش کر دی ہے ساتھ ہی ساتھ انہوں نے یہ کہا ہے کہ پاکستان ایک عظیم ملک ہے اور عمران خان انتہائی مقبول شخصیت ہیں وہ خاص طور پر انہوں نے جب اس بات کا اظہار امریکی صدر کا کہنا تھا کہ پچھلے دو ہفتے میں افغانستان کے معاملے میں بڑی پیش رفت ہوئی ہے اور پاکستان کا کردار ہے مسٹر پریزیڈنٹ بیٹ گوڈ ریمارکس اباؤٹ پاکستان اینڈ سیٹ دیٹ پاکستان کین ہیلپ لاٹ ٹو اینڈ دا وائلنس ان افغانستان دی ڈائلگ پروسیس اینڈ ریکنسلیشن پروسیس سو وٹ ریئلی پاکستان کین ڈو ٹو برنگ پیس بیکاز یو آر آلسو اکمپلینٹ بائی یور ملٹری کمانڈر جنرل باجوا اینڈ ادر سیکیورٹی ٹیم So what solution, Pakistan, what strategy paper you have to uh, push forward the peace and reconciliation process in Afghanistan and assurances to the U.S.? Yes, well, right. Number one, this is the longest United States has ever fought. It's almost nine years. Number two, I'm one of those who always believed that there was no military solution. Because anyone who knows the history of Afghanistan, you just have to look back at the history. Uh, there was always going to be a political settlement at the end. And I have to compliment uh, uh, President Trump because he has now forced people to end the war, to have a, have a settlement. And that's where I think uh, uh, Pakistan is playing a very important role because Pakistan has a 1,500-mile uh, border with you. Afghanistan mm -hmm. and all the areas where the trouble is, which is the eastern side of Afghanistan. Okay. So this is a critical mm -hmm. time. I'm going to hold my talks with uh, President Trump. We have our military uh, uh, leadership here because this is obviously a security situation. And what we want is understanding between the two countries. Uh, I can assure President Trump that whatever we will be saying will be the apps. We will be straight with them. There will no, never be any question of any doubt on Pakistan's intent because in, uh, apart from Afghanistan, the country that wants peace in Afghanistan more than any other country is Pakistan because we get directly affected by it. And Pakistan needs stability. We have had uh, 15 years of uh, fighting this war on terror, over 70,000 Pakistani casualties. Lost like Over $150 billion lost to the economy. So we desperately want peace. And I'm happy that uh, President Trump has pushed this forward. So we hope I'm looking forward to that. And I'm Apart from Afghanistan, there is a little security threat in South Asia, and that is Kashmir dispute, unresolved deal by the United Nations, and even by the U.S., who voted in support of that resolution in the U.S. Now, are you going to make any kind of submission and intervention of President uh, Trump? And the same question to Mr. President uh, Trump. Is he going to play any role in that? Okay. I will be asking President Trump. Uh, he's, uh, it's the most powerful country in the world, the United States. It can play the most important role in bringing peace in the subcontinent. You know, there are over a, hundred, well, over a billion and, uh, and a quarter people in the subcontinent. They are held hostage to the issue of Kashmir. And I feel that only uh, uh, the, 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 the most powerful state uh, held by President Trump can, can bring the two countries together. I, from my point, I can tell you, we have tried our best. We've made all overtures to India to, uh, to uh, start dialogue resolve our differences uh, through, through dialogue. But unfortunately, we haven't made headways as yet. But I'm hoping that President Trump would uh, push this. Mr. Mr. President, I was, with, uh, I was with Prime Minister Modi two weeks ago, and we talked about this subject. And he actually said, would you like to be a mediator?